Okay, so what are we into here today at the lake? We've got this trusty 1984 15 horse Johnson that uh, <laughs> we generally use as a way to get rid of old gas that we come across. But we pumped about 10 gallons out of a, the basket case ultra that we've been working out of. And it appears that that gas was a little too bad <laughs> for this motor. And so um, we've got uh, crap in the fuel system, in the fuel pump, in the carburetor. Motor will, motor will idle okay, but you got to put the choke on um to get any power it's running crazy lean so we decided hey you know normally we would just tear this apart it's had this carburetor off here a million times but we decided hey we're gonna try some handy dandy mechanic in a bottle now i gotta tell you normally i'm not a believer in snake oil products but vp racing fuels who i generally find to be a reputable entity puts this stuff in their small engine tune-up uh, premix fuel that you can buy at the at your home center and so we decided well what the heck let's try one make a video see if it works um, what we did is we unhooked the regular gas line ran this thing completely out of fuel pulled the choke at the end did everything we could to get as much fuel out of the carburetor as possible then we rigged up a second fuel line and I just drizzled about a half a bottle. You know, I don't know how many ounces that is. I, you know, I probably put three ounces, three or four ounces in this line, just drizzled it in here and used a primer bulb to force it into the fuel system. And so right now this whole fuel system is full of mechanic in a bottle. Now the bottle says works as fast as 15 minutes uh, or leave in for... Um, let's stand for at least four hours before starting. So we're gonna let it stand overnight. We're gonna let this stuff sit in here overnight and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna see what happens with this thing. And we'll uh, update this video tomorrow on the power of mechanic in a bottle. Let me out. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours since we put mechanic in a bottle uh, in this little 15 horse. Um, what we're going to try to do now is just prime the bulb a bunch and pull it over with the choke and see if we can pull stuff through the carb and get it to run. Okay, so it's been about 24 hours since we put mechanic in a bottle in this 15 horse. Um, I've actually pulled it over a couple times and it doesn't want to start, so I'm going to hit it with some starting fluid, see if I can get it running and pull the stuff out of the carb. See if that'll. Let's see if we can uh, get some action going here. Okay, so after we pulled our arms off on this little 15 horse, the mechanic in a bottle wasn't doing the job. We pulled the carb off. You can see the problem right here. There's tons of junk in the main jet. So no, no magical, mystical anything was going to clear this up. The only thing that's going to work is to pull this apart and get this completely out of here. 
before we're going to be able to do anything. We'll get this the rest of the way apart and then we'll come back. Okay, so we got the carb off that little 15 horse. We got the float and the bowl. Um, we checked the needle and seat. Uh, and uh, it seems clear. We're going to prime a little fuel through it just to make sure. But so the main jet is like totally blocked. So I thought we'd shoot a little. So there's all the junk that was in the main jet. And that's what it, that's all it really takes. You can see now, you can probably see light through it if you get, get it right. See that? Now it's completely clear. See right through it. Um, it's uh, one of those situations where a mechanic in a bottle just couldn't do it because there's too much crap in there. Um, you know, that's, I think in certain situations, it does seem like these deposits in this carb are not really stuck very well. So I think the mechanic in a bottle did loosen this stuff up. But, you know, the problem is the loosening it up isn't enough. If you can't dissolve it, it just floats around until it plugs something. <laughs> so in this case, it was, you know, mechanic in sandals that had to take over from mechanic in a bottle.